good day everyone this is going to be a pseudo video for my armor that i wear this this armor is centered around the teutonic knight book so it's going to be around 11th 12th century kind of a style there's no plate armor in this set of armor and it's just chainmail and a helmet just sitting next to me here I, i'm going to start you know wearing my garments got my belt my pouch here it was a weasel, I believe. I have my knife here, pretty basic tool, so it's on here. That's just kind of the basic look. I've obviously got my very classy boots on. And we start this, this whole adventure suiting up. Got a chain mail here. I'm gonna start with my gambeson, this bad boy. This is the under padding for everything. It's kind of hot, but it pays off. This is the most padding against impact that I have on. First, we're gonna have to start off with taking off my belt because that needs to go on top of everything. This bad boy here. It's a little bit complicated to put on, a little bit awkward to put on as well. We're gonna have to find the arms. Sit them through. Get it over your head. This one is not as long as it actually should be. It only goes to on my knees should be going a little bit farther than that but we're gonna do with what we got it is full sleeved unlike my chain mail now to get the buckles here the shirt is a little bit awkward in here right now after you put it on but you're gonna forget about that once I start putting on everything else we're going to get the buckle here by my collar. So this is now tight. I got this on, on padding. It's already pretty decent. Blows are a little bit less powered. And this, I think it's like five kilos not riveted so I would not wear this to battle would not recommend it did not hold up too well it's mainly just for show I already put it through enough work that it should be going through make sure that's the front and this this one similar spiel get through the arms this one's more awkward. So I really need a squire. This is also about as fast as I do it, going through putting it on during a class, plus explaining it to you all. So this is looking pretty good in my opinion. Got the gambeson here. This is only it only goes to my elbow, not as long. Also, should be going farther down, but we're gonna forget about that. And we have the actual tunic. He's upside down right now. There we go. This one's really easy. It's just light fabric. Begins arm through the arm pieces. And voila.
for now, we're going to keep the bell on. This is going to be the stage where I look the, look the dumbest. This is the undercap for my helmet. Just goes on like that. I go simple with just a double knot. Honest, I look really stupid right now. Also, hearing gets limited from this stage. And this is the coif. That's that. Now, I know what some movies depict and shows and fantasies, but in reality, you would never, ever just wear a chainmail coif. You're always going to have a helmet, even if it's just a skull cap. You will have a helmet, no matter what. It is better than not wearing it, but it's a pretty dumb move. Because you would be less worried about getting sliced on your head, more worried about blunt force trauma. The whole point of a coif also is to protect your neck from being sliced, so you don't get decapitated. Watch the helmet there. I'm putting this on. A little bit difficult with all of this. But I'm going to do it. You just want to buckle it. Get it done. Gentlemen, that part is done. This is where we get the belt. It is the right way. Sitting right. Gotta get this right. There. Go, I hope. Yep. There we go. This is my standard. I guess you could call it battle armor. If I'm actually battling, I would put my fencing gloves on. But not right now. Because those aren't exactly historically. They're more modernly designed, but with historical aspects. So, I'm not going to put them on. So this is the armor. At its simplest state. And at its most practical form. Put it on. Your sword. Here, I have my arming sword. Good. Sheath it in your belt. 
carry it around. Nice and practical. And this is how you, I would most practically go to battle in this whole set of armor. I also really like the sword. It's a little bit rusted right now, but we can solve that. There. If you. I'm going to take off the belt, actually. So we're going to add some accessories. If I ever decided I wanted to. Go marching. Or whatever. Wandering. Or just for show, say I'm going to a Ren Fair in modern times. Get my knife there. I have a gray fox tail here. I like to put this one on, just like so. This is pretty simple, it's just a knife and my foxtail here. But we're gonna add some more. got all that. Now, this belt is a little bit heavy. So I have to make sure it's sitting right. Everything where it's supposed to be. Make it nice and tight. Got that. Good space for an axe here. This bad boy. Stick it in there. Sitting on the boat nicely. If you haven't noticed, it's a little bit hard to look down with this helmet on. It's all the weight and the Nice with we have my very poorly painted shield right here, and this is my preferred style of fighting with a shield, short sword, or an axe, maybe like a saber. If I'm doing a class, you know, messer, a little bit on go out of my time period. But this is my preferred style. You'd probably see me doing this a lot. And if we accidentally drop that, a max. Needless to say, everything's a little bit brutal around here. It's, uh, it's also very hot. 
kind of hot right now. For that, that's why we have other groups of equipment. So I just wanted to show off. I have a coyote fur. This is this was my old style. It's situated properly. I have the coyote sitting on my shoulders. I like it. Fits nicely. It's a bit warmer, so if it's cold out, you know, wear this. It's look a little bit more intimidating as well. But coyotes didn't really exist in Europe that that prominently. Sorry about that, mate. Let me just get you up there. I'm doing all right. Get you situated. We're doing well. That's why I, I upgraded to a fox. Also, just a note: fox is my favorite animal. A little bit fucked up that I have a dead one that I wear. Now I wander around with fox on my shoulders instead of the coyote. That was bigger. You could maybe pass as a wolf if you lie to people. But I, I kind of just like the fox a little bit more. It's nice. It looks great. Let's say you go up the mountains or it's winter, it's raining badly. I'm going to get my a cloak out here. Swing around my shoulders. Make sure the hood out of the way. go we're fitted for the winter you can there are arm holes here you can put your arms out so you have a little bit more mobility honestly I prefer to just stick with them in here it's also hood so you look a little bit scary it does look a little bit dumb the helmet is, is flat of course so it distorts the hood but I'm gonna pull it back a bit, you don't really notice. Got a tail here. It's actually just a built in scarf. Right. I look like a. I don't know what they call it. The things from Star Wars. Forget about it. My brain's already fried, it's too damn hot in here. Get the helmet off. <laughs> Breathing well. I, I wouldn't want to be marching in that. We're gonna get the cloak here off. It's still summer, although it's a little bit cooler, it's still too hot. Taking the coif off is pretty easy. Just kind of grab it there. Toss it away. We want to get this bad boy off. I can hear again. This is how you 
you wanting to march if you ever were walking anywhere in this get my sword back there we go And then you have a satchel. Nothing fancy. Just a leather satchel. You can carry your things. Nothing too over the top because this is already really heavy. But it has, has some decent space. I carry some rations or whatever you need. We have a water bottle because you know, you're gonna get hot. See, like the first time you use these things, tastes a little bit funny. But um, once you start to wash the bits and pieces out, the beeswax that may be floating around. The water doesn't taste all that different. So you'd be good to go. Just sling that around here. Now you're carrying a lot of stuff. And I get this bad boy just kind of over here. Looks nice, a little bit cosmetic. You know, you can still have fashion. And for this, I actually prefer to get the coyote. Because realistically, if you are going to be wandering, yeah, you're going to kind of need somewhere to put your head. Personally, I prefer that to be a nice furry object instead of the ground. I, I have been called a furry before. That's okay. But I'm not one. I'm I'm pretty armed here right now. I have my water. I have the gray fox here. I have my axe. I have a sword. And I have a knife. I'm pretty suited, ready to go. Everything is dandy. And if you were ever thinking of like going to a pagan ritual for some reason, don't know why you'd be interested in that. Alright, let's just be like modernly Halloween or something. Just pop on a mask. Could scare a little bit, a little, little like, could scare some little kids. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? But I wouldn't wear this really. With this, That's, it's, this is the armor. It's kind of heavy. Total cost is around a thousand dollars, but it's definitely worth it. But y'all aren't wearing this right now, but I can definitely feel the weight after a bit. I can feel the weight on my hips with all my weaponry, my bags, my water. I can start to feel the weight on my shoulders and on my neck from the helmet. That's why you gotta, gotta have your food and your water. Well, that is about it. That's how you suit up in this thing. If y'all are interested, I could do a suit down video as well. And it's, it's a bit clunky and awkward, so I'm not sure if that would be a good thing to do. But that's about it. Please should know. I'm not doing that. Y'all have a wonderful day. And don't die. That's uh, pretty important. Don't die, guys. Don't, don't die. 
I know I'm tired and depressed, but don't die.